Hello and welcome to another episode of Careering 101. My name is Serafina and I'm here today with Lucas Visa. He has already uh, created two successful startups in Vienna which have both won prizes. What are you currently doing? What's currently your profession? Yeah, right now I'm a consultant. I consult uh, a German NGO which is called Seed. They, they work together with UNEP. Um, and I will actually be in uh, Africa soon teaching uh, young entrepreneurs in Africa to really help them to, yeah, to rise, to kick up with, with their startups. And yeah, that's something I, I wanted to do and, and I'm really happy to, to go to Africa soon and, and to work on, on that mission. What is your educational background? Well, I started off with 14. Uh, I joined the tourism school. And I finished with 19, so that was my first big step in my career with yeah, accounting, a lot of business education. And then I decided to do a bachelor in uh, tourism again, but with much more um, yeah, entrepreneurial and uh, economical background. What was your dream about your career? Yeah, it's quite funny. <laughs> my dream was like uh, with 14 to have a hotel afterwards, um, like, yeah, like in my professional career. And... Yeah, it's quite funny because um, when we had a restaurant afterwards, we started an online service and I thought about the stream again when we had like, um, yeah, almost 4,000 beds we were selling online. And then I had the feeling, uh, all right, the, the dream was kind of achieved. That <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't a hotel, but it was like 4,000 beds selling online that, that turned out to, to be my dream come true. <laughs> Since then, have you created a new dream? Uh, yeah. Um, I found out that I really want to combine business more with uh, social and ecological impact, but still making money, which is very important. And yeah. So after your bachelor's degree, how did you find the courage or what drove you to create your own business? Well, in my case, um, the story was really unconventional because <laughs> I think there was a, an energy in the room, like when we... It was me and a, and a very good friend. When we uh, finished our bachelor's, we were yeah, really, very ready just to do everything, like to found a company. We had a very good experience before with consulting and we said, hey, now we want to do it on our own. So no one could have uh, convinced us to do a master's, for example. And then a guy, just basically a contact came up to us and asked us if we would be interested in uh, starting, starting a big project. And mm -hmm. that's how everything just, just went. After your second startup, what did you do afterwards and why? Well, right afterwards, um, funny story, kind of met my girlfriend. Um, I went to Lisb Lisbon to, to party. If a friend liked to party, then I sold my shares and, and just, you know, take a time out. And yeah, then I got the opportunity, since my girlfriend is Brazilian, to go to Brazil for three months, um, watch the World Cup, you know, um, just enjoy it. And, and I really gave myself time to reload the batteries to, to get new ideas and basically to decide on, on the next steps um, of my life in a professional way and uh, in a private way. And what was the next step? The next step was again back um, to university, to business school. I decided to, yeah, to find out what I did really well in these years and uh, what I did not so well. I wanted to, you know, have like a, a checkup. Um, to learn out of, out of this almost six years being an entrepreneur and uh, yeah, I went to San Francisco to the heart of entrepreneurship and then back to London um, to have a taste of both and yeah, I think I uh, learned, learned some lessons and then I commuted, commuted back to Munich and uh, yeah, started my, my new project. Where do you see yourself in the next 10, 20 years? Ah, it's quite a good question. Um, first of all, I really think I'm gonna be an entrepreneur again, because I think um, once you did it, and and if you are an entrepreneur, I think you have it in your blood. At the same time, um, I like to I like to work with with young people. So I think the combination of maybe teaching uh, and 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 having an own startup on myself or a grown up company, hopefully. Um, yeah, with, with some friends, with some people I really share the same vision with. I think that's how I see myself in, in 10 or 20 years. What has been the biggest challenge for you so far? Big challenges were when I was just 24 and I had to negotiate with people who were like uh, plus, plus 50 and, and they had much more experience. And um, 
sometimes they didn't take us serious, which I, which I understand. So this was a very, very big step to, to stand up for yourself and, and to say, okay, now I'm here, I'm doing this project. Um, and I have to show them that, that I'm good at what I'm doing and, and that I, I, I stand up for myself, I won't back up, um, we are negotiating here and I don't care if I'm 48, 84 or 24, I'm going to do this and I'm going to get really good conditions. And this was a very, um, it was a very healthy um, experience. Um, another, was, another one was um, about teamwork and, and all these things. It is, is um, still something I'm, I'm learning learning every day when I work with the team at Seeds that um, yeah, never, never give up working on, on the team. Um, it's about motivation, energy, um, people together. So how, how you treat people, um, how you motivate people. This was a really important experience to, to learn that yeah, you always have to invest in the team. You, you can never um, say, okay, fuck the team, I'm out, I'm out of here. This, this is just not working. You depend on people and... and Actually, that's a really, um, yeah, it's a beautiful thing in life. To finish this interview up, um, what would be your advice that you would like to give to those starting on their career now? Well, biggest advice is to really fo follow your passion, um, to be patient and, and to open as many doors as you can because um, there is many people out there who, who, who like to help you, who like to connect, who like to talk about themselves and yeah, be bold. I think that's important too. Yeah, don't don't think I, I can't do this. Think think more like I I can do this, and and there is people who can help me to get there. I think that's the most important. Okay. Well, thank you so much for doing this interview with me. Yeah, I thank really you. It. it was a pleasure. <laughs> and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this as well. If you did, I hope um, if you're not already subscribed that you will subscribe and please give this video a thumbs up for Lucas. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and uh, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. And otherwise, I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.